That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael Bert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. The fighting is done, but the talking is not yet begun. We will need to be careful about who attends our negotiations. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Ivar should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then, at long last, we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eva. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chaelbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now.
Show me what lies ahead. Have you seen Chelbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Arderling. Ask another! I am looking for Chelbert. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Guide me. Ivar, it is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbert? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chelbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chelbert? Chel... Bert? Did none of you see Chilbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself. But once or twice, when I needed a quick word, I dumped him in a lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this drunk.
nice nap? That's a low thing to do to a man. <clears throat> I am looking for Chailbed. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain. South of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you.
hands. Blood, not from a boar. A wolf dragging something through the dirt. Tears of Rhea. Jailbat, uh, 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 you live. I... I uh, Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards, the Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Shh. Save your strength. Here, faster this way. Just breathe, Gilbert. We'll soon be there. Eivor, what happened? No. No! You foolish boy, what did you do? I found him deep in a cave beset by wolves. Eivor. Easy, boy. Easy. E... Eivor. 
Get me an axe right fucking now! Ebor, he's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is, axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. We were fools. An Aetherling was entrusted to us in time of war. We did not protect him. I taught him to protect himself! Not well enough. This was stuck in his chest. The Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. You must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Sent the boy's body to his father. The one the Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rotary is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary to me. Is that the other? What has happened? Watch out, fool! How are you holding up, Bishop? I am gutted by this loss. Cherubert would have made a good elderman, and one day a fine king, a king forged by Viking battle wisdom and Christian compassion. A formidable man he would have been. Where in the name of Loki 
have you gone to? <laughs> Stop and follow me. There's work to be done. Bloody wound when you kill Rotary's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. Ivar's men waste no time. 
They're eager to pay out our revenge. There's my liberator. I'll do you proud, I will. Eivor, I'm ready to get back at them Britons. You'll not see me lagging behind doing nothing but looting corpses. Not this time. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. <sighs> Show yourself! I am here, boneless Ragnarsson. How is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Grow Food! and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires. When I am done with Rotary, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread.
Pitiful dragon.
I felled the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? You have won, Ivar. And if you will not kill him now, then let him go. Humiliation will chase him to the end of his days. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come! All right. Let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. That load of rotten flesh called Rotary. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with I... honor. No, no, no. He must die with style. Miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodney. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. I wore this scar with shame, nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak, but as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. No! I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak, but as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Here we are. Bring him close. Eivor! I am usually the one who wanders off. There, to the top, and keep him breathing. Finish this quickly, Ivar. See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal. The blood eagle. Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. That is a Norseman. 
The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. The fog between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come blows! spread them like wings! All of mercy, I can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Eivor. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick, cursed fuckout! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny and become king killer forevermore traitor jailbird was like a son to me yes yes so fight me wolf kiss to a glorious death this is a life eivor to fight high above the world valhalla I take your tongue! Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? approach my axe Eivor hand me my weapon Eivor give it here to Helheimer with you Eivor
Carry the body to Quadford. We'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead. Survey the area, Sunan. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace... I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rotary. ...to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... ...this is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died defending a grievous lie. I cannot say that is dying well. Eivor... I spent my whole life repairing the damage he inflicted. Still, he was my brother. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery. ...and that Ivar has paid the price for it. 
As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheolwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this Shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. sails into a singing glory of flaming water steeds. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapshire an ally. I should confer with Randvi. Ah. <sighs> 